Hello everyone, this is Ben with Eric Tabe Gardens in Zone 7B. I want to show you my tomatoes that I'm growing in used plastic bags. Look at them. Now, here is a used plastic bag. Now, this is the soil that I use for my gardening. It has compost and manure in it. And after using it, I throw it away. Uh, we have a um, recycling trash can that we pay for people to throw them away for us. And some of these companies, after paying them, they sell this recycling waste to China. And China will use it to produce products and send it back to us and we buy it. So I decided to use this plastic bag that I use. Now I want you to see this and my tomatoes. Now, the soil in these bags, they are used soils. I used this soil last year for my pepper, my tomatoes, some of my fig plants and container. And I had to reuse them like the figs in the container that didn't made it through the winter, I removed the plants, threw them away, and then used the soil. And what I did to the soil is to rejuvenate the soil. I had a pit moss, I had a perlite pit moss to help the roots of the tomato plants, and perlite to help in drainage. You can even see some of the perlite there. And then, it depends on whatever you want to add to the soil to make it good for your new tomato plants. And the soil in these bags, they are five gallon container size soil. And the reason is because tomato have tap roots. So their tap roots can go deep and then they have secondary roots that are tiny that spread all over the ground or the container looking for water looking for nutrients so it's good to give your tomato if you're planting it in container or in bags give it a lot of soil so that the roots the secondary roots can spread and get enough water and nutrient and one other thing that I did here is my ground here is concrete so I put the cover of my five gallon containers that I'm not using I put them on the floor and then put the bags on it to make it safe I don't want insects to crawl into the bags from the holes so that's what I did now if you want to plant tomatoes it's good you know the kind of tomato the type of tomato you want to plant tomatoes are divided into two groups determinant and indeterminant now these two here are determinant. Let me show you. This one is called Beta Bush Hybrid Tomato Determinant. It's good to buy a variety or to plant a variety that is disease resistant. Um Prevention is better than cure. 
I don't want to mess around with any disease. So I prefer to buy the variety that is disease resistant. And all these are all disease resistant. So determinant tomato have a short lifespan. They don't produce fruit, they don't grow all through the garden season. At a certain stage, their lives will be terminated. So it's a short season variety. And it's good for places that have short summer, spring summer time. You can plant determinant tomatoes. I still have tomatoes. Now if you look at at the bottom part of these tomatoes you will see that I cut off the leaves from the bottom part and the reason is because I don't want the leaves to be too close to the soil because of disease so it's better you cut off some branches and let it have enough space between the first branch and the soil now as you can see this cage is shorter than this one here because the the height of determinant tomatoes at most is maybe four feet if you give it the right fertilizer but if you give it fertilizer that has too much nitrogen it might grow higher than four feet but you don't want that you want more production of fruit so you don't give them fertilizer that have a high volume of nitrogen now if you look at this tomato here can you see fruit look at that they start producing tomatoes. Let me see if you can see this one here. Okay, this leaf. There is a tomato here. And then this one can see we got a tomato there that is tomato and this is less than one month now can you see one tomato there that's tomato <clears throat> so this determinant have a short lifespan and look at this variety here it's called Amelia hybrid tomato determinant and the other one here is indeterminant it's indeterminant big beef and this produce a large size tomato and it is indeterminate it means it will grow all through the season so these three are indeterminate they will keep growing and keep producing flowers that will produce fruits all through the season until the first frost until the first cold that we heat and then it will stop producing. Now this one is called big beef and this one here is called Pax Whopper Improved. These are all hybrid resistant to disease. 
Now, look at Look at that. I hope you can see it. Look at that tomato right there. Two tomatoes. Now, what I do with this tomato, you can see some flowers here. What I do is, even though I have bees that fly around, that when I come around, I shake it to make it look like it's the bee that is pollinating it. I shake it and leave it so I can produce more tomatoes. Look at them here, flowers. There are some tomatoes here already. There are some tomatoes here. Producing tomatoes everywhere. So I'm happy with the growth of my tomatoes. And one other thing I'm doing with my tomato is a single stem. Look at it. Single stem tomato. That's what I'm doing with all of my tomatoes. Single stem. And the reason I'm treating my tomatoes like an only child in a family. You know, when a family have an only child, that child does not have no brother or sister to share things with, to compete with, to, to get dad's or mom's love attention. Whatever that child asks, most of the time, the child will have it because it's an only child. So also, my tomato plant. I'm treating it like an only child, one stem. So that all the tomatoes that is going to be produced on this one stem will enjoy the water and the nutrients. They're not going to share it with other stems, because just one stem. But if you have too many stems on your tomatoes, your tomatoes will not be as big as it's supposed to be because they are sharing the same nutrient and water. Too many tomatoes sharing it. That will affect the size of your tomato. So you want a single stem for your tomato. So that your tomato can enjoy all the water and the nutrients you give to them. So this is what I do to tomatoes that are trying to produce new stem look at this this is a new stem which I don't want so what I'm going to do I break it off that's it so that this single stem will keep growing and it might even outgrow this cage so I'm going to put another cage above it now when I filled these bags with soil this was what I did I after putting the soil I twisted the top and turn it upside down like this and then I use my knife to punch holes and even on some of the side I punch holes if you look at it, if you look at this there's a hole there there's a hole there there's a hole there look at this one here holes 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 so that it can look at the water coming out so don't forget that to put holes now I want to show you this here Do you see this stem right here? This is an unwanted stem for me. All because I want a single stem all through. So what am I going to do with this? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this stem here or this sucker 
I'm going to cut it. And plant it in a container. Let me tell you, this will grow. So I'm going to get a new plant out of this plant. I'm going to put it in soil, leave it in a shady place for some days, and it will start producing roots. And I'm going to get another tomato plant. Look at this flower, look at that. So all I do is I come, I shake it, to make it feel like it's the bee that is causing that vibration. So I'm happy with, the, with what I'm having here. So this is a single stem tomato, all true. So you can see that. Now, I'm happy with the growth. So these three are going to grow all through the season. They might even outgrow these cages, but I'm going to add another cage at the top. Thank you for watching this video. If you don't have a ground in your yard, in your apartment to grow tomatoes, you can grow them in bags, in containers. But I decided to grow these ones in container, in, in these used plastic bags. No need for me wasting my bags. And then somebody will use it to, to produce products that I always pay to buy. So thank you for watching this video. If you've not watched, uh, if you if you if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. There are a lot of videos on my channel that will help you, that will inspire you, that will challenge you. But I'm so happy with the result of this tomato growing in the bag. Look at how thick is the stem look at it the stems are thick so please like this video subscribe to my channel and after subscribing please click the bell so every time I upload new videos you'll be notified of the video thank you I want to thank all of my subscribers. You are wonderful. You have brought the best out of me for me to keep producing videos as I promised on the 1st of January or the first video that I did in January that I will produce more videos this year. And I want to thank you even if you're not a subscriber but for watching my videos thank you i appreciate you all for spending your quality time watching my videos have a blessed day have a blessed week and i will see you again thank you bye